We want to potentially replace traditional hypodermic needles with uh, uh, these micro needle patches that uh, you wouldn't normally feel anything uh, during the whole injection procedure. This is a problem for a lot of people, uh, especially smaller children. Uh, they are scared of needles, big, big needles, and, and uh, sometimes for some cases people have to do uh, many injections over a very short period of time, which can be very uncomfortable. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to actually have this system that we could inject the same drug, uh, but completely without any pain. In skin, we have three layers. The outer layer, which is the protective layer, stratum corneum, and then we have the viable epidermis, and then we have the dermis. So all the blood vessels and the nerves are in the dermis. This is an image of a microneedle array. So this is essentially uh, a, a cone-shaped structure. Not so long. I mean, uh, typically less than one millimeter. So the idea is we want to inject the drug into the epidermis. In this whole procedure, we're not actually touching the nerves in the dermis. So that's why uh, the, the, the procedure is painless. We uh, started this whole project from scratch, from, from concept. We wanted to come up with, with a procedure that is cost effective. The way that we make these needles is we have these molds, which has an array of pillars, and we deposit the polymer solution. And when the solvent evaporates, these layer forms around these pillars. We started developing this fabrication procedure for plastic needles, and plastic is a very cheap material. Um, uh, so then we decided that uh, for some applications we might need longer needles and we decided to make the needles from metals. But it's essentially the same uh, physics. My colleague is actually working on understanding the physics of what's happening and, and hopefully by, by manipulating the solvent casting parameters we could actually control the shape of these micro needles. I'm looking at the, um, the physical process beyond the fabrication of these micro needles. So the way we're making them right now um, involves um, a sort of like fluid mechanics um, procedure. We were expecting that this evaporation, the solvent evaporation would um, cause some sort of um, convective flow to transport the polymer. But then we suddenly see that it's not just, it's, it's not the whole story. We've seen some new observation, just like some recirculations inside the flow that really um, surprised us in a very small volume of fluid seeing some recirculation that would finally end up having some big influence on the structure of this polymer that we're using as micro needles. At this stage uh, pretty much the, the fabrication process is done and then I think the whole scientific field has to focus on the application part. Someday there will be micro needles uh, that will completely replace the, the hypothermic needles for, for a lot of applications and then uh, I think a, a lot of people would, would be interested in that.